Hi everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It really does help to support me and my channel and it would mean the world to me. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. Yay, it's the start of a brand new semester. I am very excited to kind of get back into things after a very long winter break and I'm excited to move back in with all of my friends into our dorm. If you don't know, I mentioned this in some of my previous videos, but I'm actually not a college student. I'm a high school senior at the Gatton Academy of Mathematics and Science. And if you don't know what Gatton is, it's basically a residential STEM focused high school. So juniors and seniors live on campus in a dorm at Western Kentucky University. And we take a full load of college courses at WKU. I've been at Gatton for the past three semesters and this is my fourth and final semester it's kind of bittersweet I don't know about you guys but whenever I watch these kind of videos it always gets me kind of inspired and then I start feeling very motivated to get back into school so maybe this will help you guys watching this video I'm going to be giving you exactly what tools I use and all my tips and tricks and if it's not helpful then maybe at least it's entertaining for you to listen to So the first tool that I'm going to talk about is Trello, and I freaking love, love, love Trello. It's amazing. I use it for literally everything. It's completely free to sign up for, and it's very easy to use. And what I love is that there's also a mobile app, so you can get push notifications to your phone, which helps with when you set like due dates on assignments and stuff. And you're also able to access it from literally anywhere as opposed to your traditional planner that you have to have on hand all the time. So I love Trello. I could never go back to your traditional planner. And I'm going to take you guys exactly what I did to set up my spring semester 2021 board. Okay, so here is my board setup for this semester. So in the first list, you can see that I have daily here. And what I put here is I put all the days of the week. So here you can see that I started from Sunday and then up to Saturday. And what I like to do is I like putting two checklists in my board for each day. So I would have one checklist here and I would say must do. So these would be all of the items that I absolutely have to do on that day. And then I would also put in a checklist that says can do. So that's if I have the opportunity to do it and I have the time and I feel like doing <laughs> these items that I can check them off too. And what I love about Trello is that it's so satisfying whenever you finish doing a task. So for example, here if I say homework one and homework two, when each time you check it off and say, I just completed this, you can see that the progress bar updates. And when you finish everything on your to-do list, it says 100%. And it's a little thing, but I really love it. And it makes me feel like I really accomplished something. So I like to put both of those checklists every single day of the week. And then you can also see if you finish all your tasks, then it has that green icon here. Then in my second list here, I have where I put all of my assignments. So you can see I already have two things that I have to do. But usually what I like to do is I like to just put in all my assignments. So let's say I have homework one and what I do is I always find when it's due. So for example, if it's due the 25th at 11.59 p.m., I would say that and I would just organize by date so my next due assignments are going to be at the top and then my later assignments that are due are going to be at the bottom and that makes it really really easy to see exactly what assignments you have due within the near future and it's really satisfying to check off. So something that is kind of a more hidden feature that not a lot of people know about is um, what I like to do is say, okay, I completed this assignment and I move it to this list. And did you see the confetti? I love this feature. It's probably my favorite Trello feature. I just think it's so much fun and it gives you a really big sense of accomplishment whenever you finish a task. So if you want to add this confetti feature to your board, all you need to do is find this icon and then put it in the list title. So 
I'm not sure what the command is for Windows, but for Mac, in order to pull up your emoji keyboard, you just say Control Command Space, and then that'll bring up your emoji keyboard. And then if you find this like celebration icon and you put it in the list title, anytime that you move cards to that title, the confetti will pop up. So I absolutely love that feature. It's so much fun. Then my next list within this board is past days. And so what I'll do is after I finish the days of the week, I just move that card to past days and that allows me to have a complete history of every single thing that I did every day of the semester. And so that's really nice because if I ever need to look back on what I did for that day, then I can see all of that information right there and it's super easy to access. Then my last list is just where I like to store all my syllabi so that I don't need to go searching for the papers or going through Blackboard, which is the course software that WKU uses. So I have all that information listed right here and you can see I only have four out of my six classes listed here because those are the only ones that put up syllabi so far, but it's really nice. So you can see you can just add attachments with the syllabus and have it super easy to access there. Other than that, Trello has so, so many functionalities and so many features that not a lot of people know about. So if you are interested in learning more about Trello and you want me to do more of like an in-depth tutorial on how to use Trello, please let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to make that video for you guys. Okay, so going into the second tool that I use, Google Calendar is my ride or die. I wouldn't be able to live without it. I put literally everything into Google Calendar and it is so helpful for me to stay organized and keep track of exactly where I need to be at what time. Okay, so here is what a typical week in the semester would look like for me. I went ahead and I already put all of the classes that I have for the semester um, and I color coded them as well as the location for that class. If it's in person, then I like to just have the building and then the room number of my class right there listed in the title. That way, whenever I get a notification on my phone saying that I need to go to class, I don't have to click on the event or anything to find the location, it's just right there in the header. But then if I have a class that's online, what I like to do is, um, I'll just show you my research meeting here. I like to copy and paste the Zoom link into the location. That way I'm able to very, very easily find all of my Zoom links whenever I need to go to a certain meeting. I'm actually in Eastern time right now, but my school is in Central time, so that's an hour earlier. I'm actually gonna have all videos this semester, which, I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I'm not entirely a morning person, but yeah, I will let you guys know how that works out for me. You can see I have a pretty busy semester, but I, th I think it's gonna be a really fun and good one. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going through Blackboard and all of my syllabi to figure out when my assignments are due and then what days my exams are. And then I'm putting them into both Trello and Google Calendar, and that helps me to really keep track of them and keep on top of things. So you can see here that my first computer animation to class critique is due Monday, February 1st at 3.40 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going into Trello and then I'm putting these cards that say, oh, your first assignment in art is due February 1st. The third tool that I love to use for my new semester is a note-taking app called Notability on my iPad Pro. So you can see that I have it pulled up right here. Going into Notability and how I have my semester set up here, I color-coded all of my classes this semester in the exact same way that I did Google Calendar. I like to assign a color to every class that I take across both Trello, Google Calendar, and then Notability. That way they're all just like color coordinated. And so you can see that I have all of the different classes that I'm taking this semester right here. And then I wanna show you guys how I set up my notes every semester for all my classes. So going into my notes here, you can see that I have this like, cover page. I It's not really necessary to do, but I think that it's fun and it looks pretty nice. Um, and then when you go out, you can see that icon right there, which I think is super fun. So I basically just go to Pinterest and I find it images corresponding to the color that I like. So I literally just search up aesthetic, then the color name. And then I choose an image that I like and I just put it as like the background of this cover page. And then I just do some lettering for uh, the title of that class. 
And then the second thing that I like to have in Notability is my class information and then the grading scale that I can find in all of my syllabi. So you can see here that I basically just have the instructor name and then I like to put their email there. I have the time of the class, I have the location of the class, and then the office hours. And then I don't have to go find all of that information. And then I also like to have the grading scale on hand. That way, whenever I get a grade back, I'm able to very quickly calculate what grade I have in that class. And that really helps so that there are no surprises at the end of the semester. I literally never take notes on pen and paper anymore just because I love taking it on my iPad so much better. If you are able to, I would highly, highly recommend investing in an iPad for your college years. It is so helpful. I can never go back to how I was taking notes and doing my assignments before because I literally use my iPad for everything. So if you can afford it, it is pricey, but I would highly recommend that you get it. I absolutely love mine. Also, if you are interested in kind of a note-taking video of how I take nice notes on my iPad, please let me know in the comments below. I would be absolutely more than happy to make that video if you guys are interested in watching it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming along with me on my journey to start the new semester. Definitely go and sign up for a Trello account right now. It's going to help you guys out so much if you haven't started using Trello before. It's literally a lifesaver. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss whenever I upload. And I would also appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. I would love to hear about any comments you have below and if you have any other ideas that you want me to make videos about, just let me know and I would love to hear them. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!